I want to show you a, a little painting that I've been working on this morning. I'm just about finished with it and this little painting is for my niece because she loves ponies. This is a little Exmoor pony which I particularly like. Um, they are beautiful little ponies. They're strong and you know, they can carry heavy weights and they are about 12, 13 hands at the most I'd say they grow to and they last a very long time. They last till they're about 27 I think their age roughly which is quite um, staggering for a little pony. Although saying that my horse lasted till he was 33. He was really old when he died but um, I haven't got horses or ponies at the moment. I would like to get a couple of small little like small ponies but um, at the moment I'm just painting them so here's one of them I've done and this painting started off as a, an acrylic painting and I've added I don't know if you can notice some strokes of pastels so what I need to do now to fix it because pastels and charcoal as you know would smudge so I fix I fix it by using hairspray actually because it's cheaper than the fixative that you buy which is about £10 a tin. This is only a pound. It does the same job, it's exactly the same thing. So what I do is just literally try not to breathe it in, spray it. As you can see it's starting to dry. I really don't like the smell of it but um, it is essential to spray after you've used any kind of pastels or charcoals otherwise it will just smudge off and wipe away. So there's that little painting. I think the spray has dulled his eye. I'm hoping that will come up again. If not I'll just put a little sparkle in his eye if it's disappeared with the with the lacquer. The lacquer gives a really nice coating because it's kind of like a plastic if you like and it gives it like a varnish without using a varnish because if I varnished it I would stroke away with my brush some of the marks I've made with the pastel. Anyway there's a little painting that I've just finished. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Bye.